We're going to start off with this breaking news in the Inland Empire, though. The freeway shut down the 210 after a shooting, and one person was killed. Another has been injured. Both of them uh, were on motorcycles, uh, or should say when they were targeted. The investigation is underway. Let's go to Jasmine Bill. She's out at the scene on the 210. Jasmine. Yeah, Jeff and Sandra, two motorcyclists were shot here on the freeway. One of them was killed. This is the eastbound 210 that is still completely shut down, but CHP just turned around and rerouted all the drivers who were stuck here. As you can see, they're going to be out here investigating the scene and picking up evidence across all lanes. I've uh, seen detectives uh, picking that up, uh, maybe shell casings uh, for the last hour or so. And the motorcyclists, obviously, the motorcycles are still here in that man. Body. Look at the scene from earlier. This happened just before 4 a.m. A witness called police telling them about a crash and then a possible shooting when officers arrived. Uh, they found the two men shot right near that center divide. One of the men already dead. That other man was transported to the hospital in stable condition. Uh, we were just told uh, he was hit in the shoulder. No word on any suspects or even what led to this freeway shooting. It is unclear if either of the motorcyclists were armed. Uh, what well, we again, as we bring back out here live, you can see the empty freeway. Now on the eastbound side of the 210, we just know that the shooting took place. Uh, two men were shot, one of them killed. We don't know how long the freeway is going to be closed here, but San Bernardino police, they are now taking over. Uh, let's go to Stephanie now with a check of this traffic. Yeah, bizarre incident there, Jasmine, but at least people were able to do that U-turn after being stuck in traffic for two and a half hours. And that's what it looked like just a few minutes ago before they let those people exit the freeway. All lanes remain blocked there, east 210 to 215. So looks like we've got delays back to River. Side Avenue, it is still best to take the 10 East if you want to stay closer to the 210 Highland Avenue.